Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Diamond Dave's Workshop. Today, I'm going to talk about toilet cassettes. Now, we all know what a toilet is, we all know what it's there for, and we all use it. This is the cassette where all of the nasties go to before we dispose of it finally. There's a couple of things worth knowing about them. This is the outlet. When you're draining it, you unscrew that cap. That yellow button there, when you're emptying it, if you press that button, it allows air in so that it doesn't glug and splash back so much. So that's worth knowing. The seal needs checking periodically. A wipe with olive oil won't hurt it. And just check that the blade opens and closes cleanly. When you're cleaning, you can clean the tank out, you can rinse it out thoroughly with water. There are some proprietary products on the market for deep cleaning of them. Thetford, who make this particular unit, produce a cleaning solution. You put a dose of this in there, fill it up with water, slosh it around a bit, let it stand, drain it out. That will get rid of all of the nasties, lime scale build up, any crud and nasty things that we don't want about. So it keeps it nice and clean and sweet. There are a few things that go wrong with these. The seal, as we mentioned before, that can get dry and become detached. But also, inside, there's a mechanism. It's a swinging arm with a float and a magnet. If you're too vigorous in shaking it about when you clean the tank, you can dislodge that arm. That means you've got to put your hand inside to reattach it. So it's worth, when you're cleaning it, don't be too vigorous with it. Just give it a gentle swirl around, let it stand, then drain it out. Obviously, when you're using it and emptying it frequently, you'll rinse it at the point of emptying. So that's the cassette. Chemicals. Traditionally, we have pink and blue. The blue goes in the cassette to help break down the solid matter. The pink goes in the flush tank to keep it fresh. Unfortunately, some of the pink chemicals have been known to cause algae buildup in the flushing tank. So it's perhaps best not to use that. The blue can contain some nasty chemicals like formaldehyde which is fine if you're on a main sewer when you're emptying it, but if you're emptying it into a septic tank, the formaldehyde and other chemicals in here can kill the bacteria that work in the septic tank. So what we do instead is we use washing blocks. This is a washing powder tablet, biological washing powder. Any brand will do, they all do the same job. All you do is pop one of those in the cassette, when you use the cassette, the biological washing powder will help to break down the solid matter. Then when you empty it, it's not going to cause any harm to the biological ingredients of the septic tank. Another thing, if you're wild camping, using the toilet on a regular basis, obviously you're going to fill the cassette up. You have a limited storage capacity in this cassette. The more you use it, the sooner you're going to have to empty it. If you're wild camping, there may be nowhere you can empty it. We have a little trick to avoid filling the cassette too early. Instead of flushing the toilet when you've used it, we use a spray bottle made up with the pink solution. And all you do is when you've used the toilet, you just give it a couple of sprays around the bowl with that. Let that run down into the cassette. You put minimum extra water into the cassette and therefore your cassette will last a bit longer before it needs emptying. So one of these, when you buy a second-hand motorhome, is going to be used. Not everybody is entirely comfortable with that, but there is a solution. You can buy what's called a fresh-up kit, which gets you a brand new cassette and a brand new seat. Nobody else's bum has been on that. So you can put your new seat, put your new cassette in, and don't forget, we don't need chemicals. We can consign those to the shed. And if you're wild camping, if you use a spray bottle, instead of flushing the toilet, you'll minimise how often you have to empty the cassette. That's about it for this time. See you next time.